Hey everyone, it's Hugh Sweeney and welcome back to another video. Now today is one of those days where I sort of find myself caught between two different things I wanna do. I really wanna do something outside because it's a beautiful day, but I also want to do a video inside here about this stuff over here, which is my DJ setup. So strangely enough, even though I'm a cameraman and a videographer and I do video for a living and stuff, I've actually not really filmed much stuff over here. So today is the day that I'm actually gonna set up some cameras, maybe even one or two lights, get some audio going on as well, and actually film a DJ mix. And I will share with you how to do it in the process and give you some little tips and tricks. So let's do it. Very important to clean your records. So I did a little bit of housekeeping there, get things a bit of a tidy up, get the decks a bit of a clean, which is always good, and I routed some cables out to get a good audio signal and set up the Zoom HN6 there to record it. I switched off all the little settings like low cut, limiter, and phantom power, stuff associated with vocals. So you just want the cleanest possible signal going in, and it's coming into two mono signals in the Zoom recorder, so that's ready to go. Now look at the color of that. That is the worst cup of tea ever. I hope I'm better at filming DJ mixes than making tea. So now what I've done is I've set up the slider here in the corner to sort of capture everything with a wide angle lens. I'm not gonna complicate it too much, just a simple over and back to capture all the action. Okay, so now I'm ready to rock. All I gotta do is just don my DJ cap and perhaps worry about copyright. So this time I've sort of stripped things back a little bit and gone for a less complicated setup. Just one camera this time and the slide pod. So I'll do maybe a minute or so from this angle and what I'll do then is I'll move the slide pod and I might try and get it just to glide in over the mixer here and see what kind of effects I can get. Maybe get three or four different angles and then I'll just piece it together in post and see how it looks. So that last mix was just one camera, but four different takes from different angles, pieced together in DaVinci Resolve. So when it comes to recording DJ mixes, here's a few good tips for you. Audio quality is everything. Your line out from your mixer should be good and loud, but nowhere near clipping level. 
you shouldn't have to boost it too much in the recorder. In this day and age, a lot of people like short videos, so if you're a turntablist scratch style mixer, or doing a lot of tricks or whatever, consider doing the same thing from different angles like I did, and editing it together. It's more work, but trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. One tip I'd give you is to never use a piece of audio that doesn't match what the DJ is doing in the video. I've seen professional companies doing that with big name DJs, and it looked horrendous. In terms of lighting, you don't necessarily want it to look like a nightclub, but if you're in a dark room, it's worth it to have some sort of light. Even a small light like what I used will really enhance it, and it's nice to see what your hands are doing if you're a mixing style DJ. Things look better when the light is actually away from the camera a bit, and not pointing from the same angle as the camera. You don't need professional lights, even household lights positioned in certain ways can make things look really good. So I really liked making this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below, and if you could give the video a thumbs up, or subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it. And until next video, it's goodbye from me.